This might turn out to be a super controversial video, so I'm looking forward to people leaving their thoughts in the comments below. But hello, I'm Chris. Welcome to this video. If you clicked on it, you're probably either a computer science major already or somebody considering pursuing computer science as a major, and you're wondering what is the biggest mistake to avoid as a computer science major. I have a lot of thoughts on this, and this is kind of going to be a rant, uh, but let's get straight into it. So the biggest mistake I think computer science majors make is studying computer science and not going into a tech-related field, such as software engineering, product management, data science, cloud engineering. You get the idea. Something related to whatever major it is that you're doing, and let me explain. I think it is a huge amount of wasted time and potential to go and study computer science and not go into one of the fields that computer science opens up for you. Why? Computer science opens up doors to a lot of careers that other majors don't open up for you or open up as easily for you. Now I understand that the job market is kind of bad right now, especially with AI, the future of like, oh, like are software engineers even gonna be needed in the future? Who knows? But at this point in time, just based on my own experience, and this might be controversial, so super open to hearing thoughts, my opinions could change, who knows? Computer science, in my mind, opens a lot of doors to, for example, yes, you can get a software engineering job, you know, not studying computer science, doing a boot camp, you know, studying business or whatever. It's going to be harder. It's going to be easier to study computer science and go into software engineering than it is even for a computer engineering major to go into a software engineering job. Yes, it's possible. People do it all the time, but it, oh, there's the garbage truck. <laughs> it is going to be much harder for the computer engineering major to get it than the computer science major to get it. And that's just as an example. Now imagine, you know, you have your art history major, your dance major, your business major, any other major, not computer science for that same software engineering job. It's going to be much easier for that CS major to get it just because of how they screen their resumes and how they view your credentials. Now we can expand it. Product management, for example. Yes, you can get product management studying business. I have a lot of friends who have done that, but it's going to be easier going from computer science to product management than it is for any other job, which is possible, but it's gonna be easier as a computer science major. It just opens up a lot more doors and makes it easier for you to go into those careers. Now, computer science as a major is hard. You're taking these harder classes, data structures, algorithms, operating systems, you know, just to list a few of the required ones, not to mention the electives you probably have to take that are probably just as hard for some of them. And I think in my view, computer science is one of the harder majors out there. Yes, there are majors that are just as hard or maybe even harder, who knows? I've heard engineering could be pretty hard, pre-med potentially could be hard. Yes, there are other majors that are hard, but I would argue that computer science is one of the more time intensive majors in terms of the difficulty of the course, the projects that you need to complete, just the overall amount of time that you need to spend in order to not only complete your degree, but to do well in the degree it requires a lot of time commitment. So let's imagine you put all of your time into this major that is super hard, that opens up a lot of great avenues for you and you choose not to go into one of those avenues and go into an avenue that was open for you even if you didn't study computer science. For example, and there are so many other careers out there. I'm just using these as an example. Like these are the careers that a lot of people think about. For example, consulting, for example, investment banking. Yes, investment banking, you might need a little bit more finance knowledge, but I would argue, and I have seen a lot of people who don't study business or don't study finance can still get an investment banking job because they're looking for smart people. This is incredibly true for consulting because they're just looking for smart people. You don't need a computer science degree to go into consulting. You do, for the most part, a lot of job descriptions will require a computer science degree for software engineering. So I would argue if you know that you don't want to go into a tech related field, you know you hate software engineering, you don't wanna do it. You know you don't wanna do product management, you don't wanna be a cloud engineer, you don't even know what the cloud is, you don't wanna know what the cloud is. If that is you, I would argue, don't even do computer science, whether it's you know for the prestige or whatever, it's just not worth it. Because if you know what you want to do, 
and you can get it without a computer science degree, I would argue you should go and get another major that you are passionate about that has a less of a, a time investment because that allows you to enjoy college more. When you're in a computer science program, depending on the program, I'm, I'm not sure what it's like at other, uh, at other schools, but it's a hard program and it's going to take a lot of your time. I studied computer science and business, so I know what the two degree programs are like at my school at least. I would argue that you have to spend a lot more time just on academics for computer science versus for the business class. My argument is if you know you don't want to do anything that the computer science major will open you up for, those opportunities, you might as well do something else that gives you more time in college to do the things that you're passionate about because then you can get your major, potentially even tack on another major or minor that you care about um, that makes you happy. Or maybe if you don't, you have more time to pursue your passions. You have more time to join clubs. You have more time to meet people, to hang out, make connections, make memories. Those friends that you make in college are so important. Those connections you make could help you get another job, whatever. And you're just making a lot of memories. You're having fun. You can go do things versus as a CS major, you're probably stressing a lot more. You have less time to maybe take care of yourself, go to the gym, get healthy, eat healthy. You're sleeping less. So I would argue if you don't want to get one of these tech jobs that computer science will open for you and you don't want that then don't do computer science because it's a hard major. Why are you going to put yourself through a very hard major and not take advantage of the opportunities that it opens for you? You might as well go do something else that's an easier major that has less requirements that allows you more time to do the things that you want to do and get the other career that you were thinking about. That's my argument. If you know you want to do something in tech, great, do computer science. So think about it, as a computer science major right now, why are you studying this major? Number one, is it because you actually like it? You like the problem solving, you like the coding. There's something about computer science that you like. Great, if you're super passionate about it, that makes sense. Whether or not you go into a coding job or some other job, if you're enjoying it in college and it makes you happy, and it allows you to still do the things that you like, then it doesn't matter if you go into a tech-related job because you're enjoying yourself in college. This is what you like to do. You like the problem solving. No other major would make you happier. So it doesn't matter if you go into a tech-related job, software engineering, product manager, whatever. You're enjoying your time in college. You're able to have balance in your life. You're doing something you like academically and you still have time to you know, go out with friends, hang out with friends. I don't know, cook dinner, go to the gym, do a sport that you love, you have balance in your life, then it makes sense. If you find yourself studying computer science because you want the job, even if you don't like it, that makes sense because you're working towards a goal. You're working towards the opportunities that studying computer science will open for you. Then it makes sense. The toil will pay off. Maybe you're suffering right now. You're like, oh, this sucks. You know, the classes are hard. The tests are hard. The projects are hard. Like, oh, life sucks. I don't have as much time as my friends and the other majors. That's okay because you're working towards a goal. Um, I would still recommend you have some balance though, but that makes sense. If you're in the third camp where you're studying computer science and you're like, okay, I don't actually really enjoy this. I don't have a lot of time for myself. There's another major that I would much rather be doing. I'm not having time to go do clubs and I also don't want to do a tech related career. I would say CS is probably not the right place for you because you're not utilizing the advantages that staying in this major would open for you and you're not having a good time right now. So why would you suffer right now and then not reap the opportunities that it opens for you? I would argue either do something you enjoy now to get a job that you want to get in tech or do something you don't enjoy right now with a goal in mind because you want that job. So you, know, you got to work for the things that you want in life. But if you know that you hate computer science and don't plan to get a tech related job, I think that's the biggest mistake. And if that sounds like you, you should get out right now. So. Basically, if you're a computer science major right now, I want you to ask yourself, why am I here? Do I want this tech job? 
if I am in computer science, I either must enjoy it right now so that even if I don't get a tech job later, I enjoyed my college experience. I'm taking advantage of everything college gives me knowing that I want to do something else. That's perfectly fine because you're enjoying the college experience. If you don't enjoy computer science, but you want that tech job, fine, stay. That's, that's correct. I agree with you. you. It's an end to a means. You want the job, you have to get the degree, you suffer for it, and you try to enjoy college as you do it. But the biggest mistake that I see is if you're studying computer science, you hate it right now, and you don't plan on getting a tech job, that's the number one biggest mistake, is if you are studying computer science, you don't like it, and you don't plan on utilizing the opportunities that it opens. If that sounds like you, get out right now. You need to go find another major because I think it's a waste of time for you to study something that you hate, not utilize the opportunities that it opens, and go after something else that you could have gotten doing another major that maybe you actually do enjoy and enjoy your college experience at the same time. So all of that is to summarize, the number one biggest mistake you can make as a CS major, there's a little bit more nuance to it when I say that the biggest mistake is studying computer science and not going into a tech related field. That's totally fine. If you either love studying it right now and you go into something else, great. But if you're studying computer science, you better go into tech by either liking it right now, not liking it right now, but to go into tech later on. If you don't plan on going into tech, leave computer science right now because it's not for you. I think it's wasted time and potential where you could be working on something that is your passion. You're not spending all of your time coding, doing projects that you don't want to get this high paying job that you don't even plan on getting that you could have gotten by doing something else. Let me know if that makes sense. Maybe this uh, was a little bit too roundabout and I'll try to simplify it, but uh, leave your comments, leave your, com leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please considering liking it, please considering subscribing. I'd be forever grateful, but otherwise, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.